everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. I have a few hours before my flight leaves. I'm already packed. I have one errand to run. I'm like, oh, I have time to do a pour. <laughs> it's more to hold me over than you guys. So uh, I have a couple rounds that I thought I would um, try again with the sandwich pour with the white on top. And I didn't blow it up, but it, my cat popped the balloon from yesterday. I have a balloon in case I decide to roll on the edge, um, a la Jilly. Let's see what happens. I have nothing to show you because I did that all yesterday. And we're gonna get right to it today. So this is a little, I have a 12 inch round and a 16 inch round. I get these from Plaza Art. I believe you can order them online. And let me grab you the brand name. It is, These are called Fredericks. Fredericks acrylic prime canvases, ideal for oils and acrylics. That's the label, that's what they look like. Super sturdy, can't rave enough about them. Colors will come up on the screen along with the pouring medium recipe. Uh, and I'm just gonna go, so I'm gonna put white on the bottom of this cup. I won't need this full cup, um, but I need a little more paint than my eight ounce. I need about nine ounces. So I'm gonna put my white first on the bottom. Not a lot, Just something like that. And then let me see about colors. This is quite the wacky color combination too I have today. some vermilion. I was quite chatty yesterday, that last video, wasn't I? I'm like blabbering on. I was kind of poking fun of myself when I was uh, editing it. This is some Payne's Gray. Someone was asking me how I come up with my colors. And honestly, I'll get, a, I'll get a bug about one color and then I build from it most of the time, which is what happened here, is that I wanted to kill off some uh, Windsor Newton Burgundy. And then from there, things just kind of Evolved like what goes with burgundy. Let's try some red. Let's try some pink and orange and That's Looking pretty good. And I think I hit all the colors too Yep, so there's a layer of everything I'm gonna put just a touch more Payne's gray just a little wiggle And then we're gonna add our white on top I'm uh, into the sandwich pours lately. There, because I don't need a full cup, so we're gonna stop right there. I'm gonna give this a flip. This time I'm gonna use my canvas. And I wanna see if I get that white film um, that you normally get and bring up the colors from there. So I've been checking the weather reports uh, for London. I'll grab my coffee. And, uh, you know, it's typical. It's cold and rainy. Um, years ago, when I, when I did live in Belgium, 
Um, it was a year where they broke like rain records. And um, I remember I moved there and it was like pretty nice summer with hardly any rain. And I was like, what's everyone talking about? Belgium's great. And then like August came and it rained for like every day for like a year straight. Like I remember the Netherlands got flooded out, Germany, Belgium, there's just floods everywhere. And it just, at least drizzled every single day. And I got, um, I got sad disease, which is the seasonal, so I don't know. Basically you're bummed out because of the weather and you haven't seen the sun in a long time. And I got really, really depressed. And uh, so depressed that I went to see a doctor. And he's like, oh yeah, you're just sad. Go to Portugal, get some sun. <laughs> And I did, and when it's, I swear, the second I got off the plane, it was like, wah, wah, the sun was beaming, my spirits lifted, it was amazing. All right, let's give this a lift, enough to chat. Let's get to work, girl. All right, straight up, without, and then move it without getting all those weird dribbles. Ah, see, it got the dribbles off to the side. It kind of, oh, good gosh, look at that. <gasps> gosh, I should put that on because it's so gorgeous. Yep. Oh, but no. See, it looked good in the cup, but then you lost it. So good thing I did that on the edge. So that's good. So there's my white film. My splooge. Let's move this around a little bit. And then we'll give it some dedicated torching. Uh, get rid of that stuff. And just move it around to the edges all the way. I kind of like that one spot. I'm gonna leave it there for a second. All right, that looks great. No cells, got some bubbles. All right, let's see what happens. Pop in the bubbles first. Oh my goodness, look at the caterpillars. I just, I just don't care anymore. I, uh, I admit defeat. This might be good because uh, if there's so many caterpillars, they might be primed for the balloon along the edges. So we are just really gonna torch this up. I'm not getting anything over here at all. He's like, yeah, I don't want to play. All right, in here. All right. Damn caterpillars. Hey, guys, you know, I have tried every every possible way there is to stir my paint, mix my paint, you know, put drops in the middle, then add more paint. You name it, I've tried it. I still get them. I still get them. All right, let's wiggle this around. Let's get rid of that. One part that does not go. And there's a ton of, okay, let me just stretch off some of these caterpillars. Bye-bye. And I see a ton of color underneath. I'm gonna torch that a little more. I don't like that. Let's see now if I can get some color to come up. If not, this might be a prime candidate for the balloon. Look, more caterpillars. And even more. That's the caterpillar pour. I should do one, honest to God, you know what I should do? Maybe I'll do this. Is you know, do my normal thing where I get a ton of caterpillars and just do one with all caterpillars and then run my white through it and break them up so it looks like stained glass. And just to have, do, to, you know, say, okay, paint, you want to make caterpillars? Here we go. Bring them on. But there, we got more color up. Look at that 
section. I think this might be a prime uh, little canvas um, for the balloon. I'm thinking this, the middle of this is pretty. Um, so I'm thinking like wherever I roll off a balloon, I'm gonna be leaving this stuff here and that's all quite nice. This would get a balloon on it. The part where I overstretched the cells, this would get the balloon. Yeah, let's give it a go and uh, see what happens. I have plenty of paint. If it doesn't work out, well, you can always scrape it. Let me blow up a balloon real quick. All right, that should do the trick. I don't need a big balloon, something little. And I love the, I bought these balloons because that's not paint. That's how, that's the design of the balloon. I'm like, oh, it looks like somebody poured all over it. Which I thought was fun. So we're just going to go around the sides. This experiment, if I hate it, I'll scrape it. So I'm just going to like go like, oh, I did that too hard. Like this and roll the paint off and see. I've got a bunch of wipes nearby to wipe off the balloon every once in a while. I'll leave those cells there. Sorry for the balloon noises. And we'll do right here. I keep pushing too hard on the edge. Gentle, gentle touch. some paint back on. There we go. I'm just going to go around the sides and we'll see how this looks. I'm going to wipe off my balloon again. Yeah, let's kill these caterpillars. Goodbye, suckers. Ha, ha, ha. Don't press so hard, Karen. There we go. I like it on the round. We'll see. Let's go over here. So I want to leave some in between. I keep pressing too hard on the corner when I roll it off. I've got to be gentle. There, that's better. And let me uh, flip this canvas around a little bit so I can get the things easier. Get off. That guy did a terrible job. That he's a do-over. Oh, it brought up the white. I don't like that. I don't like the white there. I don't want white there. I want, I don't know, pink. Let's fix that one up. I pressed too hard. That was my bad. might just pick it all up but we'll give it a go oh I left some Let me get that one little spot well, that's better I like it with the pink hmm I really like these cells am I in frame yeah I really like these cells right here I don't know if I want to do it there we'll skip it for now <laughs> although I feel like I'm gonna have to but I'm gonna skip it for now and go over here because you know got to kill the caterpillars i have my priorities oh gosh that was great okay so definitely less pressure and let me twirl this around some more come over this side Kind of cool. I think I, I'll i be really honest. So I'm liking it so far. But for me personally, um, it's probably going to be too busy. We'll see.
Mm, we'll put another one right next to this guy. Oh yeah, little twinsies, so pretty. And then, God, they're great cells too, but we'll put a smaller one right there. Yeah, he's great. And then, it's gonna look stupid if I don't do that area. What are you gonna do? I, you know what I'm gonna do? So I'm coming back to this one because I'm getting those caterpillars. <laughs> they are going down, you are going down. The rest of this in the middle, I love. I'm gonna, I'm sorry to lose this, but yeah, I'm gonna have to. Pretty there, and just like a little one right here. Roll that off. Oh, that's cool. And then I just wanna redo, I have a little one here and one here. I'm gonna redo this guy just to hit the caterpillars. <laughs> and I don't like that one either. So three, and then we're moving on to the next thing. So, right here, and we're gonna go up higher. Oh, I still missed them. I'm gonna die, go there. Took too, too, too much paint off again. And you gotta roll it too. Oh gosh, do I love that crimson color. I took off too much paint there. Again, let me wipe off my balloon. My balloon's like sucking it all up. Hope I don't mess up this whole painting just on this one spot. The rest of it, it's great, like I can even live with the pink. No, I can't, who am I kidding? I cannot live with the pink. Let me wipe off my balloon. Got too much paint on it. Okay, better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the pink with the crimson, so I'm just gonna put a dot of pink there. A dot of yellow. Just to fix it. Hopefully. I'll take it. Nice little blending. And then let me do this right there. And uh, get you guys, guys down close on this guy. Let's put, let's put the crimson back on that one. The crimson and some Payne's gray. I'm like really happy with these colors. Um, it's not totally obvious staring at it, but one of the colors that has made a big difference, I think in this one, is the addition of uh, vermilion. It's a little pop of orange because vermilion is a very strong orange and it, it's got a lot of red tones to it. And it really made, made a difference in uh, some of these areas. Actually, this is, uh, this is quite pretty. What am I saying? It is quite pretty. All right, see if I can fix this. I keep taking off too much paint there. Where's your problem? There. I'll take that. Why? Yep, we'll take it. Ta -da! Oh, that's really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. So that kind of, um, it's really, really close to the vision in my head. I would have liked a little bit less cells in the middle, but that's probably my fault torching, you know? But um, let me hold it up and then I'm gonna move it over and we'll do the little guy and see. Uh, yeah, I'll just hold it up. Let me get my other little stands at the ready. 
put it over on the side. I'll just hold it up. I'll zoom in closer. Um, I can see. It's like moving around slowly. Oh, I have my overhead on. I'll turn that off for the glare. But it's super pretty, right? I mean, wow. Really, really pretty. So there's that guy. Where's the first one done? Let me sit him over there. Got these two. Where's the little 10 inch guy? Same deal, just let me rinse off my hands because I just can't stand it. Take off our rings too. What are you doing, girl? Take off your rings. Holy moly, that's really pretty. All right. I think it's just because I'm a negative space kind of person, but I I do think that's really gorgeous. All right. Real quick. Um, don't need a big cup this time. Same deal, let me lay our colors real fast. We'll just pour down the sides. And we'll do our white and then, what did I start with? I'm gonna start with the, um, killing off the uh, Windsor Newton Burgundy. I feel like I have too much white at the bottom. I'm gonna pour some of that out. Okay. Yep, I had too much. Right, burgundy. Let's go orange. Some paint gray. Mm, where's my pink? Pink, yellow, crimson. I'm gonna touch more of the black, another wiggle. Oh, I remembered the order, I'm all proud. And then the white. All right, can we get two in a row? That would be awesome. Boop. Clean up some of my mess. Let me uh, wipe off my balloon. Oh, look at me being all confident that I'm actually going to use it. All right, that's ready to go. I'll stick him in the cup right there. And then wipe off my hands and throw in some gloves. I just want to paint all day you know whenever you have a success don't you want to just like keep on going like oh what else can I do right because you feel like you have the mojo I kind of think that this technique or this you know the little thing I'm doing right now would work best on like a 20 inch round, or at least a 16 inch round, um, than the smaller guy. I think it, if it's bigger, it wouldn't look so busy. Um, 
All right, let's try this again. Ready? Geronimo. Straight up, straight, straight up for the white and then move it out of the way quick. It's stuck. What is that like? Oh, look at the uh, Payne's gray there turning into blue, being up against the white. Huh. Interesting. I didn't get all white this time, but let's see. Maybe we'll have a pretty, uh, it'll be too pretty to balloon, I don't know. Making the balloon feel like it's a second class citizen. Oh, I can only use the balloon if the uh, pour is terrible. It's kind of like uh, doing a swipe as a last resort, you know? All right, let's just spread it to the edges. Let's give it a good torch and see what happens. Hello, caterpillars. How you been? Look at you. Come on now. Caterpillar City. All I want is caterpillars everywhere. Yeah, I think we'll be ballooning this one. What do you think? Yep, we definitely will. Oh, look, look at that. My paint split right there. What the hell? That's so random. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. All right, I'm trying to pour some off because I want a middle that's more blank. Oh look, look at those caterpillars when you stretch them all out. The line of them. You know what, I need to get those closer to the edge so that I can hit them with the balloon. Yep, and then stretch, yep, that's what we're gonna do. Get those closer to the edge everywhere. Look at that, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> crazy. All right, got another spot of split paint. I'm going to get off. I don't know, the more I'm uh, stretching the, the living, you know what, out of this, the more it's uh, bringing up colors and kind of coming out cool. I'm going to stretch it this way just a little more. And bring it back just a touch more. Get rid of that one big giant section of caterpillars. Let me stop and stare at this. You know what? If it wasn't for, I don't know what the hell happened. There is one little area here of broken paint. If it wasn't there, where it look, it looks like my. That, that looks like the yellow has split. Really bizarre. If that wasn't right there, I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything to this. I'd keep it just the way it is. Honestly. It's uh, very dramatic looking. So I'm going to take that split part back so I can get it close to the edge. Even though it means losing this awesome, awesome little section right here. So bye bye, just so I can hit it with the balloon. Yeah. All right, so get the edge. All right, so I'm gonna take the balloon to this one as well. Um, see how the middle looks when we're done. So I'm trying to tilt it so we at least have a really cool middle section. All right, here goes. Do that again. Better. I'll do a little one right here. 
that's cool. Let's flip it and get that split yellow part. Try to leave that because that's awesome. Let me wipe off my balloon again. I'm going right here, kind of big. Yeah. Goodbye, split stuff. Leave some cells in between. Actually, I didn't quite get it all. Hold on. I'm still not getting it. I need a bigger balloon right here. Hopefully that fills in. That's better. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Hopefully that fills in with paint because I did it too hard. Leave some of that black and white stuff. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, let me come back since I have paint on my balloon and get this guy. That's better. And then over here in the white place spot. Good. Keep rotating. I'm rotating my balloon now. Oh, too little. Yep, I like that white spot right there. All right, caterpillars. What's going on with my stand? Too close together. Hold on. Bye bye. Wipe off the balloon again. All right. Mm, last little vestige of caterpillars. Bye bye. I went off course that way. Let me keep it straight. Yeah, if you're gonna do this, you gotta keep turning, otherwise you're uh, you're at a wrong angle. This one's very exotic looking. Wow. I'm just gonna touch up this one spot and I'm leaving it. I'm like, I'm grooving on this one. Um, just cause I feel like it's really heavy in the burgundy. Right there, I'm gonna add a little like orange. Yeah, let's do orange right here. It's like a little wiggle of orange. I lost most of my yellow. Well, it's like in little spots everywhere. So I'm give it a drizzle of yellow. And do this guy right here. It's gonna lift it up, isn't it? You SOB, it did. Just give me a little bit of orange. Ugh, that looks terrible. Oh, that's a do-over. I'm gonna leave paint on my balloon because if it's dry, it just sucks it all off. Let's do that again. Last little spot. And I might go up into those one cells right there. There we go. Let me stare at it a second. 
It's too bright. Sorry, it's the perfectionist in me coming out now. And like, it's fine, it's good enough. Well, I'm the one who has to be happy. That's all I can say. Better. Better, better, better. Uh, uh. For sakes. I don't know if I'm overthinking this spot or what, but it's making me mad. I'm gonna get it. Get it. stare at that. Do I take it? I think you take it, Karen. Yep. Good enough. That is good enough. Cha da Let me get you guys up uh, close on this one. That one was harder. I think it was better when I was freewheeling on the um, second one, but man... I do love um, how exotic they both look. I wish one, this one had as much of the yellow in it as the first one. Um, but it does have like this pink and yellow section on the one side. You see it there? And yeah. Ta-da! Um, well, let me hold this up again. As you can see it, but this is this one. Or well, here, I will try to put them side by side because everyone wants to see things side by side. So let me try, since I think I have enough room. These aren't that big, so you can see them side by side, and then I'll say goodbye for a few days. Uh, I'm gonna slide this guy over, slide you over, spread you out, put one there. Come back you come back I'll let this one here stick my cookie cutter underneath there we go let me take off my gloves and get them both get you down for both sorry for the mess on the counter you can't have it all y'all you can't have it all let me pop this off so here's the second guy the little one little areas okay so one thing i really love is on the edge where to go on the very edge right here with the little vestiges of the um caterpillars that cracks me up <laughs> um amazing cells in the middle and then over here this is just is that's gorgeous and i like the little bit of negative space definitely that's definitely what i want i might try this on a um 20 inch um, I think it would be cool. And then here's the first one. See, this one has more of the yellow and pink. It's a little brighter than its sister. But uh, look at that. That's awesome. And then over here, this is awesome over here too. Love that. Uh, yeah, they're cool though. They really grew on me. It's just different for me, you know? So it took me a minute to warm up to it, but really, really super happy with both. And uh, with that, oh my gosh, another long video. That one, you can't help it though. And I wasn't talking all that much. I was actually working, so. <laughs> bon voyage. Uh, thanks for the love and support. If you're new and you've been watching, I saw on my analytics that over half of the people who watch my channel aren't subscribers so please give me a push of the button ring the bell for notifications and all that other marketing information you guys take care bye